Okay, so we're getting a P0125, 1135, 0171, not sure what that is, and a P1130, and a P1135. Okay, we're just about to change the uh, air fuel sensor upstream in my 99 Camry. And I uh, thought we'd do a scan just before we did it, just to, I think I drove it a little bit after I futzed with the air fuel sensor. So, no, I guess I cleared the codes. So the codes are clear, as you can see. All right, let's, uh, let's just do it. No codes, yeah, I got that. Let's just uh, erase codes one more time. Oops, there we go. All right, so they're definitely erased. All right, let's see. Okay, got. so our goal is to remove the air uh, fuel mixture sensor. Um, and we're gonna be taking off this and this very simply. You wanna be careful not to, to break anything. Actually, this one is, is uh, broken down here. Uh, on the inside, but it doesn't it doesn't rattle. It's nice and tight still um, and the uh, Connector is of course blocked <laughs> uh, It's this one right right here the one you can't see so what we're gonna do is uh, I believe we're gonna Take this one off and I don't know if you can see this Okay, these two are going to get out of the way, and we're going to try not, it's cold, so I don't want to break any wires, but we're just going to push them there, and so this is what we're going to be uh, taking off. And it's dirty, I don't do dirt, so we're going to wipe it off. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm holding the camera and trying to work on my car, you know how hard this is, right? Uh, as far, I got this off the other day. Oh, it's, uh, it's not this. This is not what we're trying to take off. We're trying to, ah, there it is. On this side, there's a button right there. And the whole point, I think it's a two-hander. Um, let me see if I can prop the, this up. Push this in and pull. There, see? And that's what we're... Getting that. So you, you push this button in and you pull, you don't pull on the wire, you pull on the connector or you're going to have some bad days ahead. Okay, so let me get these uh, heat risers off and uh, we'll go from there. Oh, I know what, the one thing I wanted to show you is, see this, this, if you still have the original one, uh, it's a, there's a split. This is not hard to get off at all, um, but you have to remember, oh, there it is. On this side, it's split, so you just pop it out like that. Real simple. See how this thing is? Uh, let me see if I can get some light, which I doubt, because I paid extra to have a good light. <laughs> anyway, see, it's a split thing. It just holds it onto the radiator hose. Okay, so this is basically already uh, completely disconnected, and now we just have to unscrew it from the um, exhaust manifold. So let me get those heat right. Okay, these are uh, 12 millimeter bolts. Careful not to strip them or break them, and uh, I'll loosen them all. You want maybe we want to put some anti seize on those. Now this should come right off. There is Mr. Exhaust Manifold. And then, like I said, the bottom one of these is stripped, so I don't really even need to, I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Okay. See, the, the actual mount is still stuck in there and it's broken off from the bottom right, right here. But it, this one holds it 
still pretty good. See, this whole thing is broken off down there. If I continue to get uh, an error code after I change this uh, air fuel sensor out, this piece right here, this impossible to see piece, right there, the green thing, that is the uh, coolant temperature sensor. That could be wrong, that could be bad. And also in here, uh, the thermostat, uh, maybe they put the gasket on wrong. So uh, if I still continue to get an error code, I'm gonna empty out a gallon of coolant and I'm gonna check both of those things. Actually, not check this one, I'm gonna replace this one because it's like $16 part. Anyway. Don't forget to slip this lower cowl uh, heat riser on before you plug the air fuel sensor in. Okay, looks like we're in the clear. I just took it for a little ride, but uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know for sure. I'm going to go for a, about a 50 mile ride to work and we're going to see if we have any codes when we get there. Okay, I just drove uh, 53 miles and there is no codes are stored in the module. So I guess the air fuel mixture sensor definitely fixed the problem. All right. <laughs>